very scintillating morning to all. Dear kids, teachers have brought a joy of treasure for you on the eve of Christmas. It is time for a sacred gladness for all of us to celebrate the holy birth of Jesus Christ. So, it is time to welcome and adore the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Christmas is the tenderness for the past, courage for the present, and hope for the future. This festival teaches us to be loving, kind, giving, and forgiving. Prayer is a way of connecting to God, to ourselves, and to those around us. It gives us inner strength. So let's commence this celebration by enchanting the Gayatri month with joining of hands and bond.
falls, which has really purified the atmosphere. I am profusely elated to take an opportunity to invite our working headmistress, Mrs. Ritu Siyal, to share her precious thoughts. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, warm greetings to all. Christmas is an occasion that illuminates the cosmos and brings joy, which has all the charms, grandeur and splendor. It's a pious and the most awaited occasion all over the world. On this day, Jesus Christ has taken birth to remove darkness of the world. It's a time when the entire world is illuminated in sheer magic and brilliance that dazzles people everywhere with joy and celebration. Dear all, pandemic COVID-19 has created a Sputnik movement for all of us. Let's not get paranoid about COVID-19 pandemic. Just follow the due precautions and take very good care of yourself and those around you. Dear students and parents, there is a strong ray of hope guiding us to find a way out of the present crisis. We will soon be out of these stormy waters. I'm sure that we will meet soon and once again the whole campus shall be echoed with your laughter, nitty gritty actions and your hustle and bustle. I wish that this Christmas brings good health, delightful days, fiscal year and a bright future to all of you. On behalf of PCM Fraternity, I would like to wish Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all your parents, students, teachers, non-teaching and support staff. for your wishes, guidance, and support. The birth of Jesus is the sunrise in the Bible. Around 2,000 years ago, on a night the world has come to call Christmas. It is a day when our minds go back to Bethlehem, beyond the noise of our materialistic world, to hear the soft flutter of angels' wings in silent and holy night. When the Christ left his majestic heaven and came to this earth to show his love for mankind. So let's go back to that era and see the birth of Jesus. You are considered to be the most pious woman, so you have been chosen to be the mother of the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, whose name shall be Jesus. He would be a redeemer of the mankind. the knowledge of signs and wonders of the sky. They judged that the Messiah of the world has taken birth as revealed by the star in the east. Then wise men 
walked away from the palace to find the newborn king. They decided not to come back to the king as warned by the angels in their dream. which they had brought for newborn. First wise men worshipped and offered a gift of gold. Second wise men offered frankincense as a gift and worshipped Jesus. Third wise men gave more as his offering. Then the shepherd also reached the place and they thanked God for the prophecy that came true. Everyone started singing carols. The whole atmosphere got vitalized with its echo which filled the environment all around. For God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God sent His Son into the world, not to judge it, but to save the world. filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the wise men, and the peace of the Christ child, Jesus, the Messiah. and students, at the advent of Christmas and closing of year 2020, I wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. The wacky year 2020 is waiting to elapse and 2021 is standing at the threshold. We all know that 2020 didn't spark any joy and tested our resilience, but we humans know how to take out the best out of the worst. We adopted and adapted very well. We took a leap into the digital world and kept the momentous going. We utilized the lockdown period at home without letting the year go waste for our students. There were so many things students learned and unlearned, but it would not have been possible without parents' contributions. 
I reflect on my gratitude for parents for their support and cooperation. They made 2020 an eventful year for students. In spite of all hard test trials and tasks we faced during pandemic period, as we near the 2021, I hope the year will be marked by new responsibilities, more preparations, and continuous efforts. I urge all students to go extra mile and compensate for whatever they missed out in 2020. Despite all, it's a chance to welcome a fresh start with more enthusiasm for chasing your goals and dreams. because it's your attitude not your aptitude that will determine the altitude you scale in 2021 so wipe all what you don't want to remember about 2020 cherish only good residues focus on opportunities that lie ahead and move ahead to achieve and accomplish your goals i wish the beginning of 2021 dispels corona completely and remembers our days of social distancing and quarantine with moments of togetherness celebrations beautiful doings and hail and hearty days i wish storms of 2020 are the rainbows of 2021 once again i wish merry christmas and happy new year to all god bless us all thank you very much And sweet to the soul. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiration and thought-provoking message.